Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to the Aliens Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to discuss the, or we are going to determine the maturity value of a given simple interest problem. I know all of you are excited. Let's try to identify the objectives of this lesson. Number one, discuss maturity value. Number two, Determine the formula to be used in solving maturity value. And number three, solve the maturity value of a given problem. Those are the objectives that we need to meet at the end of the day. And always remember, be persistent. Soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. Be persistent. Keep going on. Do not give up. Because soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. Let's try to unlock keywords. We have P, which is principal amount. That is the amount of money borrowed, or that is the amount of borrowed money. Rate of interest, that is the percentage charge. Then time, or the time, T is for, the, for time, or time period term of the loan or investment. We have I, or interest. The amount of interest paid or received. Then F, that is maturity value, or the face value of the loan or investment. Let's try to identify or discuss maturity value. Maturity value is just simply the principal amount plus the interest. That is the maturity value or final value of the given simple interest. Let's now try to solve this one. Sophia makes an investment by lending 24,000 pesos to Judy for two years, an interest rate of 11% per annum. What is the maturity value of the investment? Again, Sophia makes an investment by lending 24000 to Judy for two years with an interest rate of 11% per annum. What is the maturity value of the investment? So here are the possible formulas that we can use in order for us to determine the maturity value in order for us to solve for the maturity value of the given problem. That is final value or maturity value is equal to the principal amount multiplied by the, the or the quantity of one plus the product of rate times time, or it can be as simple as maturity value is equal to the principal amount plus the interest. Let's now identify the steps in solving for the maturity value. First one, identify the given, then identify the formula to be used. So here's the problem. Sophia makes an investment by lending 24,000 to Judy for two years with an interest rate of 11% per annum. What is the maturity value of the investment? What are the given? We have the principal amount that is 24,000 pesos. We have interest rate that is 11% or we need to convert this one into decimal by simply dividing 11 by 100, that is 0 0.11. Then time, that is two years, payable in two years. And we are looking for the maturity value or final value. So these are the given based on the problem. Let's now try to determine the formula to be used since we have principal amount, rate, and time, we are going to use this formula. That is final value or maturity value is equal to the principal amount multiplied by the, the quantity of one plus the product of rate and time. Since we have the given and the formula, we can now solve the maturity value. These are the given and this is the formula. Let's now substitute the given on the given formula. So that means maturity value is equal to 24,000 multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus the quantity of 0.11 multiplied by 2. Let's now multiply 0 0.11 by 2. And the answer is 0 0.22. 0 0.11 multiplied by 2 is 0 0.22. Then we need to add 0 0.22 and 1. 1 plus 0 0.22. The answer is 1.22. Then find the product of 24,000 and 1.22. The final value is 29,280.00 pesos. 
again, multiply 0 0.11 by 2, that is 0 0.22, then add 1 plus 0 0.22, that is 1.22, then multiply 24,000 and 1.22, the final value or the maturity value of the loan is 29,280.00. That means this is the amount of money to be paid at the end of the term. From 24,000 pesos, it becomes 29,280 pesos. That means there is a 5,280 pesos interest. Next example, Wancho plays 18,500 pesos in a 5.5 years term Deposited earning 8.25% per annum. Question, how much will the bank pay him on the maturity value? Or how much is the maturity value of the loan? 18,500 pesos in a 5.5 years term. Deposited earning 8.25% per annum. Let's try to solve the problem. So these are the formulas to be used. F is equal to P multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus the product of RT. Then F is equal to P plus 1. Let's now identify the given and the formula to be used in order for us to solve the problem. We have now 18,500 pesos. That is the principal amount. Then we have 8.25%. That is the rate of interest. We need to convert this one into decimal point by dividing 8.25 by 100, and the answer will be 0 0.0825. Then time is 5.5 years. Then we are going to look for the maturity value or the final value. Based on the given, based on the given, what is the formula to be used? That is F is equal to the principal amount multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus the product of rate and time. I know all of you are excited. Let's solve this one. Here are the given. And here's the given formula. Then let's try, let's try to substitute the given on the given formula. And it goes like this. Final value or maturity value is equal to the principal amount, which is 18,500 multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus the product of the rate, which is 0 0.0825 multiplied by 5.5 years. The first step is multiply 0 0.0825 multiplied by 5.5. The answer is 0 0.45375. After that, we add 1 plus 0 0.45375. The answer is 1.45375. Again. We add 1 plus 0 0.45375, that is 1.45375, then multiply by 18,500. The answer is 26,894.38. This is the final value. Again, multiply 0 0.0825 by 5.5, that is 0 0.45375, then add 1 and 0 0.45375, that becomes 0 0.45375. Then multiply 18,500 by 1.45375. The maturity value of the loan is 26,894.38. If you want to know how much interest did he or she receive, you, you are going to subtract final value by the principal amount that and that is the amount of interest he or she gained or one show gained at the end of the term. And that's very easy, right? I know you were able to follow the process in solving the maturity value of a given simple interest problem. Okay, we're finished. Just always remember that mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. See you on our next tutorial.